There's a condition uh, where kids are born and they have this one ventricle. Yeah. First of all, how does it present and what can you do to prevent to having a major tragedy? So, first of all, what is a single ventricle? Um, most, uh, the normal heart has two ventricles. The ventricles are the pumping chamber. However, lower, big ones. Right. The lower chambers, the muscular pumping chambers. However, some babies are born with a congenital problem known as single ventricle, where either the right pumping chamber or the left pumping chamber is completely absent. Now, unfortunately, when these babies are born, this may not be obvious just by looking at the baby, even at their breathing, even by listening to their heart. It could be difficult to pick up this condition. Often, the only way of knowing whether or not the baby has this is to check the oxygen level in the blood, because in these conditions, since there's only one ventricle, the blue blood and the red blood mixes, and that will cause your oxygen saturation to be lower than normal. So the test of pulse oximetry will allow the clinician to see if this baby is at risk for single ventricle heart disease. So in other words, if for some reason it wasn't done and it was difficult to pick up in the hospital, usually a week or two later the kid starts to get progressively worse and we hope that the parents and the pediatrician are able to pick it up early. And if that diagnosis is made, how is that handled? Um, if, if the diagnosis is made um, on a baby with single ventricle, um, it is quite a severe problem. The baby is brought into the hospital. Tests are done, such as ultrasound on the heart, to determine the exact anatomy. And what is done is the baby is put on a medication okay, known as prostaglandin. And what this medication does is it keeps a blood vessel open called the patent ductus arteriosus. This is a normal blood vessel that all babies have when they're a fetus and when they're first born. This blood vessel is not required to remain open in the healthy baby. However, the baby with only one pumping chamber requires this blood vessel to be open in order to be, to, 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 to be alive. If for some reason it's starting to close and the project fails, how is that approach today? Surgeons get involved, or what do they do? Correct. The baby is started on this medication, stabilized, usually put on a, um, if needed to be put on a respirator, and then surgeons are involved, and the vast majority of these lesions, although they can't be completely fixed, they can be palliated. And these babies can be given um, an operation that allows the blood to go where it needs to go and allow these babies to lead a normal life. We now seem to do surgeries earlier. At what age would be an ideal time if you did a surgery in a kid like this? A baby like this would typically be operated on, it depends on the exact anatomy, right. but typically in the more common single ventricles, a surgical procedure is usually done within the first week of life. So as we are finding that we do things earlier, we are getting better results down the road, is that true? That's correct. We, we, we hope that's true, but certainly um, situations that are so severe as in single ventricle do require multiple surgeries, but the first surgery done in the first week of life um, and to stabilize the baby so that they're not very sick at the beginning does bode well for the future and gives that patient a better chance to survive later on.